So we've got SAS installed. Wasn't that tough? We got through it. It's on our machines. Let's start using it now. And specifically, I want to investigate some of the ways in which nesting, the nesting properties of SAS, make it easier to write CSS. Here I've got, and these files are included in your working files, I've got sas-course, and I'm looking at the index.html file. You'll notice I'm not serving it up via a web server. I'm just calling it right off my hard drive, sas-course slash index.html. Now, if I look at that markup file, index.html, you notice that on line five, it references style.css, but style.css does not exist. Perhaps unsurprisingly, we're going to generate from some SAS code here, an SCSS file. In fact, we're going to add a watch to continually update the CSS file from any changes I make to this SCSS file. Let's do that right now. So if I navigate from a command line to the directory CSS within my SAS-course directory, I can add a watch like this, SAS-watch. The preceding colon stuff, style.scss, is the SAS file. The after the colon stuff is the CSS file that I want to be generated, or in the case of a watch, updated as I make changes to the SAS file. If I hit enter, it'll both generate that file that appears here now, style.css. And indeed, if I refresh the page, I get the styled version, because if I look in index.html on line five, CSS slash style.css now exists. Let's take a look at some of the nesting features of SAS. Now, if you look on line 15, I'm specifying some styles for the header tag, specifically the header tag with role equals banner. I'm giving it a padding of 1M top and bottom, 2M right and left. That all works fine. I can see that there on line 13, I get a padding of 1M and 2M. That looks great. This is the outputted CSS. Now I'm back to the SAS file. Notice also that unlike traditional CSS, I can include contained within the braces that on line 15 starts header, open curly brace at the end of line 15. There on line 22, I have specifications for the A tag. That means that I'm going to get the rule that's specified on line 15 here in the outputted CSS file, header, role equals banner, space A. I think this syntax is great that the A contained within the header means specifically the header. I don't have to repeat myself by saying header A, header H2, header H3, et cetera. I do the same thing on line 31 and 39 for the H2 and H3 respectively. Here I get that on line 20 and line 24. I do a similar sort of thing below when I specify section article on line 57, section article H1 on line 66. Another way in which I can use nesting in SAS is on line 40 or 32 or a few other places in this file. Notice that on line 32, it's font colon open brace, not just font. What I'm doing here is using the namespace for font. So I'm saying on line 32, I want to specify the font dash size to be 20 pixels. On line 34, font dash family to be Helvetica, Arial, etc. On line 35, font dash weight to be 200. And the resulting outputted CSS, you can see on lines 21 through 23, font-size is 20 pixels, font-family, etc. So similar to the containment of elements, I can also do nesting for namespaced elements, font-size. I do it another place here, though there's only one, I might want to add some later, at line 19 specifically, I specify background-color as being the RGBA, that is the color, and then the last fourth parameter there is the opacity of the background color in this case. And then lastly, on line 26, in the absence of that ampersand, notice the ampersand colon hover. I want to specify the hover for A, but if I didn't specify that ampersand, really, if I did this, what I'd be saying is A space hover, and we can see it updated here on line 18. I want the hover attribute to be right next to the A. So with that ampersand, as I save it again on line 26, notice that it changes in the output file because I have a watch on it. Then on line 18, I'm saying A colon hover so that I get this behavior, that it turns to black as I roll over it. So a few different ways in which nesting helps. Nesting for containment of elements to avoid having to repeat myself, 
header, H2, et cetera. Nesting to control namespaced elements like font-size, font-family. And then lastly, using the ampersand there on line 26 to make sure I reference the parent element. 